For this lesson, I'm using the Premiere Pro project file 0903 set audio level for multiple clips. You'll find this project file with the media associated with this lesson. Double click on the project file to open it in Premiere Pro. When making adjustments to audio levels, you're sometimes going to have a whole batch of clips that you want to change. Sometimes you'll want to make one standard adjustment to a group of clips like music tracks, which are generally too loud to be useful in an edited sequence. Sometimes you'll want to make sure multiple sections of speech have the same level. And let's look at both of these in practice. In the project panel, I have three music clips and they all have different levels. I'll open one of these up by double clicking on it and you can see the waveform in the source monitor. As you probably know already, when you see a waveform, the taller the waveform, the louder the music is at that point in time. I'm going to select all three of these clips. I'm just lassoing them here in the project panel, but you could just as easily make a shift key selection, a list selection. And now with them selected, I'm going to go to the clip menu. I'm going to choose audio options and audio gain. I'm going to allow Premiere Pro to automatically analyze the audio level for these clips to make sure they match a level that I want for my sequence. To do that, I'm going to go to Normalize All Peaks To, and I'm going to type in what's generally a good number to start with, minus 18 dB. I'll click OK, and you can see right away that waveform is shorter. I'll double click on a couple of other clips here, and you can see they all have that smaller waveform. So now we're ready to use these clips without overwhelming the soundtrack. That's a quick workflow when you have multiple clips in the project panel. But what about if you have clips already in a sequence? Here we've got multiple voiceover clips and they seem to have different levels. You can see the waveforms are different heights. I'll play back the first two. This is my story of returning home. To the land of the eternal spring. It's clear that these were recorded at different volumes and we want them to match. I'm going to go to the audio workspace and I'm going to select all of these clips together. I'm just going to click and lasso across to select all of them. Now in the essential sound panel, I'll choose dialogue, loudness, and click auto match. Right away, you can see those waveforms have changed and all of the clips now match. Let's listen to those first two voiceover clips again. This is my story of returning home. To the land of the eternal spring. Perfect. Now that I have all these clips selected in the sequence, I can right click if I want on any of them, go to audio gain, and use the same options as I found in the project panel to normalize and automatically adjust the audio level for the clips here. I'll just cancel out of this dialog for now. And now that I've finished making this audio adjustment, I'm going to go back to the editing workspace to continue working on my project. This kind of automatic audio level adjustment can be a huge time saver and makes sure you have the right settings for your soundtrack.